Well, cities are growing. The predictions are that London will grow by 1.3 million over the next 10 or 15 years. And that generates more and more demands for services, including waste services. The purpose of this project is to demonstrate that it is possible to repurpose a 26-tonne refuse vehicle, one that's seven years old, and put it back into service. Not just testing the technology, important though that is, but we're also testing the economic viability in the business case. There are about 30,000 commercial vehicles in the UK at the moment, powered by diesel, which are producing particulates and emissions which are harmful to health. And those vehicles are going to be running on the road in the UK for between 5 to 15 years from now. What we're trying to do is provide a solution where we can take those vehicles, remove the diesel engines out of them and replace those with an electric drivetrain which is clean and quiet and healthy for people in cities. The pollution produced by a typical diesel truck is equivalent to the pollution produced by about 30 cars. So by converting from diesel to electric, it eliminates the pollution that you would expect from 30 cars. The diesel truck compactor is driven by the diesel engine. The diesel engine does two and a half to four miles per gallon, and it needs to be on continuously, and therefore producing pollution while it's doing the compacting operation. With the electric vehicle, we've got an electrically powered compressor that runs the bin and the compaction process. There's no need to have the main motor running. We've had some good feedback from the crews. Very positive that they're liking using the vehicle. I think we just accept that refuse vehicles are, are noisy uh, and indeed dirty, uh, but we've seen with this vehicle that that doesn't have to be the case. On a normal truck, you're breathing in the diesel fumes. On this truck, there's no fumes whatsoever, and it's quiet, and you can hear what's going on around about you. Environmentally safe when you're standing on the side, you can hear the traffic coming up and down the street, and uh, so it makes it so much safer for the crew. On a conventional diesel vehicle, it's a more complicated machine. The engine is more complicated. It needs, it needs more maintenance, it needs more oil changes. To make sure that it's running clean, you need to change a diesel particulate uh, filter every year, just like you do on your car needs to be serviced. On electric vehicle, you don't need to do any of that. Now we've got the vehicle working on the 26 tonne refuse inspection vehicle, we can look at pushing that technology into heavier goods vehicles and to a broader range of applications so we can make a bigger impact on the environmental issues that we've got. As the leader of the council, lots of people are talking to me about sustainability and concerns that they have about air quality. Uh, this vehicle is a great example of how we can do our bit to clean up our fleet so that we contribute to leaving Greenwich in a more sustainable place than when we found it. This project would not have been possible without the support of Innovate UK. They've provided critical funding to the research and development that has enabled MagTech, ourselves, DG Cities and the Royal Borough of Greenwich to work together. <laughs>